President Trump rallying uh, for the GOP in Montana. Now, one of the topics, immigration. Roll tape. A vote for the Democrats in November is a vote to let MS-13 run wild in our communities. Democrats want anarchy. They really do. And they don't know who they're playing with, folks. We will always stand by proudly the heroes, and there are heroes on ICE and Border Patrol and law enforcement and our military. Well, here's a headline from our next guest. Quote, the abolish ICE narrative is a recipe for disaster for Democrats. Come on in, Tammy Bruce. Well, if it is a recipe for disaster, no one's told them because they are, they are glomming on to this uh, more and more every single day. They are. And here's the issue. And what the president's referring to, it's not just hyperbole saying that they want MS-13 to run wild. They're calling for the abolition of an agency that has nothing to do with border security. And yet they're saying it's because of the separation of the families at the border. That's the Customs and Border Protection Agency. ICE handles criminality in the center of the, in the interior of the country. They're the ones going after ICE. They're the ones dealing with uh, the sex trade, uh, money laundering, criminal illegal aliens. So a call for the abolition of ICE is a call for an end to that focus in dealing with the crimes that are affecting first the immigrant communities. MS-13 preys on them first. All of this crime, the sex trafficking, it's those young women being disappeared, African-American girls, Hispanic girls in the inner city. So if one, it tells you that they don't know the details of what the agencies do. Secondarily, that it really would destroy the interior of the country. But mostly we realize, and this is the point of my right. column in part, is that this is about getting names and raising money and winning a new cycle, which does not, which does not deal with the issues of serious policy. Right, because all. the abolished ICE narrative is accompanied by their, their ripping children from, from the arms exactly. of the mothers. Uh, it's supposed to be attached to that, but the two are not linked at all. Now, some would say, uh, uh, other, uh, you know, m better read critics would say that ICE is involved in, in removing people who, although here illegally, have established themselves as otherwise law-abiding citizens. They've been here for a long time. They have kids here. Mm -hmm. and, and that ICE also plays a big role in taking them out of communities where they're, they're living amongst everyone else, they're not committing crimes, and getting and pushing them out of the country. Well, ICE deals with criminal Ill illegal aliens. The president's made it clear that this is the focus of who it is they're dealing with uh, internally. But also, part of my column is about how we're supposed to be divided on this. Uh, a new Harvard-Harris poll uh, asked the question about abolishing ICE. 59% of Democrats are against that. On the issue of sanctuary cities, of whether or not you alert the feds to criminal illegal aliens, 51% uh, of Democrats want that to continue. Uh, they don't like what's going on. So you've got a few Democrat leaders who are, who are positioning the entire liberal framework as like, well, this is where we stand. Whereas, in fact, maybe we're not as divided as they say we are, that Democrats, you know, are in fact moving with the president in what looks to be a mainstream immigration program. And, and to that point, there certainly is this sort of calculus out there that uh, there's been very few things that Democrats can use in the midterms. They've been grappling Correct. for a message beyond anti-Trump. Yeah. And these images of these children, even though some of them that were used in the media go back to the prior administration, uh, resonated pretty loudly. President Trump, in many people's minds, blinked. Uh, he did an executive order to change everything. So they, they have jumped on this. This probably will be the one issue that they galvanize, at least the leadership galvanizes around, uh, because I don't think they think they have any confidence. What are you going to talk about, right. the jobs report? Right. Uh, look, the president uh, was following the law. He, he's issued actually an order that may be against a court order. This is what the president was doing. But he did what he felt then at the time, which was the right thing in making that change. What they've also seen in this poll is that while all of this was going on in this argument about separation of families, with the, which the president has stopped, uh, the approval rating for the president among Hispanics has r risen 10 points. That was mind-boggling. Now, so this points. is, they, they clearly are at a loss, this supposed Democrat leadership. The American people want policy. They want to, things to continue as they are. And yes, as a result, uh, the Democrats are in trouble in a number of ways for the midterm. You know, that 10 percentage point uh, increase might have been a harbinger for this uh, job support because I got to tell you, mm -hmm. of all the subsex uh, Hispanics did better than everyone That's last That's what month. matters, the yeah. pocketbook and the future for their families. They're Americans first, and we're seeing the results. Tammy, thanks a lot.